speed of an object is how fast the object is moving. For example, let's take a look at a car that's moving. Let's take a look at this car. This car is moving a distance of 60 miles in one hour. Therefore, the speed will be 60 miles per hour. So speed is actually dealing with the distance you move and the time you have taken to move that distance. So for a car that is moving with a 60 mile in one hour, it therefore means the speed will be 60 mile per hour. Now let's take a look at a jet. A jet that is flying and has moved a distance of 350 mile, uh, meters in one second. Therefore the speed will be 350 meters per second. What if we're looking at our that car? Uh, that car moves a distance of 120 kilometers in one hour. For example, we move it from here to KLIA. A distance of 120 kilometers in one hour. Therefore, the speed of the car is 120 kilometers in one hour. Now, this is quite different from velocity. Velocity is looking at the speed and the direction with which the object was moving. In the case of speed, it's, we're, not, we're only looking at the magnitude, the size. We're not looking at the... We're not looking at the, the direction with which the object was moving. Because velocity is a vector quantity, meaning we consider both the magnitude and the direction. But in case of speed, we're only looking at the magnitude of the object. Now, let's, for velocity, we're looking at whether the object is going towards the north, is going towards the south, or is going towards the east, or is going towards the west, or is going to the right, or to the left, or going upward or downward. So, in case of velocity, we're looking at the direction with which the object, object is moving. Now, we're also looking at whether the object is moving in a circular form, because at this point in time, we're also discussing the, uh, the, the direction with which the object is moving. Therefore, velocity makes use of direction, while speed doesn't make use of direction. We only talked about the distance moving in a specific time, in a specified uh, uh, time. Now, let's take a look at relative velocity, uh, so to say. Now, for speed, we said we're looking at 20, a, a quantity, 25 meters per second. That's the speed at, of this train that is moving right now. And the other train also have equal speed of 25 meters per second. But if we want to talk about velocity, then we have to look at the direction with which these trains are moving. The first train is moving towards the right. Therefore, we, at this point in time, if we're looking at the direction with which the train is moving, it means we're talking about the velocity. The second train is moving toward the, towards the left. It means we're also talking about the velocity. Now, both trains, let's assume we assign a sign, positive sign to the one going to the right and negative sign to the one going to the left. If we do that, it therefore means there will be no, the effect will cancel out because tw plus 25, and this is minus 25, there will be no velocity because the effect of both will cancel out. Now, that's that for that train A, this one with red, it's moving towards the right, therefore it's with this 25 meter per second. And train B, which is the one going towards the left with yellow signs and green signs, is the, and blue signs is the one that is going towards the left, and therefore it has a negative sign. This one has minus 25. So both of them, the relative velocity of both of them will cancel out because there will be no velocity plus 25 minus 25 the effect will be cancelled. Now let's do a little exercise on this and see how this works. Now, if you take a look at this train, this is the speedometer in the train. Now in train A, you can see that the speed is 60 km per hour. Look at the kilometer per hour. And if you take a look at train B, the speed is 80 km per hour. Now, train A is going towards the right. It means it's the one that has positive sign. And train B is going towards the left. It means it's the one that has negative sign. Now, let's match this and see if we understand what I've just talked about. Now, train A that is going towards the right has 60 km per hour shown in the speedometer. Now, we move this and put it in train A. And for train B, it's going towards the left, meaning we have a negative sign. Therefore, it's 80 km per hour. Therefore, it's going to be minus 80 km per hour. We put it here and see. Now, let's check this if we're right or wrong. Then we see both of them were right. Meaning we understood what I'm talking about, what this video is focusing on, what it's trying to talk about. Now we go to another one, another scenario. These two trains are going towards the same direction, train A and train B. Now let's take a look at the speedometer of train A. Train A, the speedometer is 50 km per hour and it's going towards the right, meaning it's positive. 
and train B is also going towards the right, meaning both of them are positive. But let's take a look at the speedometer. Speedometer showing that it's 80 km per hour. Now let's fix this and see if we understand exactly what we're talking about. Train A from the speedometer is 50 km per hour. Now let's take a look at train B. For train B, it's also going towards the right, therefore it's not negative. It's uh, 70 from the speedometer, 70 km per hour. So we move it there and put it here. And let's check if we're right or if you understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, so we can check from this video the, how it works. Now let's go to another scenario and see both trains are now going towards negative direction. It therefore means both train has negative signs. Now, let's take a look at the uh, speedometer of both of them. For, tra for train A, the speedometer is 80 km. So we move it 80 km going to the left. We put it there. And train B, it's a uh, speedometer show 40 km and it's also going towards the left. We put it there. And let's check if we are right. We check this and see if you understand exactly what I mean by relative velocity. Now, this means we are right and this is very good. And uh, our next video, we'll talk about the meaning, the definition, the formula for calculating speed and how it works. And we'll give example, practical example, how to calculate speed problems. And you now you can follow us on Facebook in our Wilson Global Learning and Training Academy and also our YouTube account, Wilson Global Learning and Training Academy. And you can also follow us in Twitter, Wilson GR, and also in our Instagram, Wilson GR. Thank you very much.